So I've been using Chromebooks since 2015 and I bought my second Chromebook, the Samsung Chromebook Plus in 2018. It's really nice Chromebook uh, that can be converted into a tablet. I find myself using this Chromebook quite a lot because of the touch. So this Chromebook Plus was launched in 2017. So it's already three years old. So I thought of buying a new Chromebook and I was reading a lot of reviews about a particular product that finally is available in India and I was finally able to order it and I just received this package it's Lenovo Chromebook and it's tablet PC and the size is 10.1 inch so definitely smaller than the Chromebook plus I'll compare it once I open the box so let's open the box and see what we have in this package Now this Lenovo Chromebook is available on Amazon as well as on Flipkart and I'm not sure about the offline market but I bought it from Amazon.in because I like it better than the Flipkart website and I only use Flipkart when the product is not available on Amazon. So I'll put the link in the description if you're interested in buying this Chromebook and it's available for Rs 28,000 which is a little more than what it usually sells in the US. I think it's around $270. So if you convert that, it roughly translates into 21,000 rupees. So this is the Chromebook. So this is the first put up. Now we'll keep it aside for this to turn on completely and let's see how long it takes to boot up for the first time. We'll check out the other contents in the box. This is I think, yeah, this is the keyboard that gets attached to the tablet PC or the Chromebook and gives you a feel of laptop. We'll try it out in a second and the other one is the back cover it sticks at the back of this Chromebook okay so this is how it gets fit there are magnets on this back cover so it connects it snaps really nicely it fits in really nicely and then I think okay we have this also for keeping it as a laptop stand or whatever so it gives you a lot of options so even if you don't want to use this if you want to use this as a tablet PC and you want to watch something you can keep it on your table like this let's quickly check out what other things we have in the box so there is a booklet and here we have got the cable okay we have got the type C cable and this is 3.5 mm audio jack converter because there is no 3.5 mm audio jack on the tablet PC okay this comes from this side nothing else so we have got the charger so this is a smaller charger the one you get with the smartphones which is nice because you don't have to carry additional chargers and this is a nice thing if you want to listen to music if you want to use your wired earphones then you can use this otherwise if you've got wireless earphones something like this you can connect it wirelessly and mostly everyone has got the wireless earphones these days so let me open this this is the keyboard which has also got a trackpad which is quite interesting there's Lenovo branding on the right hand side and apart from that there's nothing the quality is quite nice 
I read a lot of reviews and also watched a lot of videos and some people were like uh, quality is okay but quality is pretty nice. If I compare it with my Samsung Chromebook Plus it is better than that. And let's connect the keyboards with this Chromebook. Okay, so did you see that? The magnets are quite strong and you don't have to make any efforts to connect it. It gets connected. It's pretty nice. Okay, let me show you here. So that's a good thing that you won't have to do a lot of effort to connect these keyboards to this Chromebook, Lenovo Chromebook. So this is the setup. So there are no magnets in this one, like there are some tablet PCs where you get the cover and it uses the magnets to close it nicely so that you get a nice fit. But you shouldn't be comparing this rupees 28,000 tablet PC which also gives you a keyboard to the tablet PCs with keyboards that are two or three times the price of it. Now let's set this up and I'll see you in a moment. So it took me less than five minutes to set this up. Okay, so now let me compare it with my 12 inch Samsung Chromebook Plus. So this is 12.2 inch, I think it's 12.2 inch and this is 10.1 inch. And I was already loving this Samsung Chromebook Plus because of its small size. I was able to carry it in my small bag and I was still able to get my work done no matter where I was. This is even smaller and it still has got the functionality of having the desktop version of Google Chrome which is most important for my workflow. And if we compare the thickness, so the thickness is pretty much the same but the good thing is you can detach the keyboards unlike this it was still very good you can still use it like a tablet pc like this and it's still not that heavy but this is even better so when you remove the keyboard you can still use it without removing the back cover but if you want to remove even that you can get a really slim tablet pc and i like this pattern of giving this grayish and bluish accent to it it makes this tablet pc chromebook stand out from the rest of the crowd and there isn't a lot of branding on this device as well like there is a chrome logo here and there is a lenovo logo here and there's nothing on the front i think these are the microphones so the speakers and the microphones are on the top and it's top because there is a camera here as well as there is a back camera. So this is quite nice if you have to do a lot of Zoom calls or Google Meet or any other conferencing, web conferencing where you have to interact with other people. So you can use the front camera. And you can use this back cover so that you have the ability to put it on the table so you can use it like this you don't always need this keyboard but whenever you do it is there and it is a good thing that it is included in the package and you are getting all this for 28 rupees thousand so i'm not complaining okay so i'm using this lenovo chromebook do it from last one week almost every day and I thought I'll not make a separate review video and include my review of the Lenovo Chromebook Duet in this video only. So I just finished editing the part that you just watched and now I'm talking about my review. Now we have already talked about the build quality, the size, the form factor, the specifications and the Chrome OS. Now let's talk about the display. It's 400 nits and I was assuming that it is not going to be too bright because the Samsung Chrome Book Plus that I was using is quite bright and sometimes I find myself in situations where I have to use these devices in sunlight under sunlight and 
I also used the Lenovo Chromebook 2 it and I did not have any issues and I was able to see the text of the web pages that I was browsing. Also 10.1 inch screen is not too small because it is little closer to your eyes and you are able to see it properly. Most of the time I'm using the Google Chrome browser and which is the reason I bought it in the first place because you can run full-fledged the desktop class Google Chrome browser which supports Chrome extensions. I use a lot of Chrome extension to enhance my productivity. So this is mainly a tablet PC powered by Chrome OS. So if you are looking to get a tablet PC for using Android apps, perhaps this is not the best choice because it is able to run Android apps but the experience is not native like the ones that you get in Samsung tablets. The direct competition to the Lenovo Chromebook Duet is Samsung Tab S6 Lite and it is priced pretty much the same as the Chromebook Duet. And for those who know about Chromebook and are looking for a smaller form factor, this is a perfect device. I know what Chromebook is and I know how well it fits into my workflow. The only thing that was lacking was the form factor. My workflow has some limitations when I use tablet PC powered by Android because it does not offer desktop based Google Chrome browser. I have noticed that whenever this Chromebook is connected to the keyboard, it is a little faster. It feels a little faster. It runs a little faster, maybe because it is in Chromebook mode. When you detach the keyboard, it goes into the tablet mode. And even though Chrome OS has been optimized for uh, tablet mode, there is a tablet mode but it is not as good as the Chromebook mode. Also the battery drains much faster when the keyboard is connected. It will give you around 4 to 5 hours of usage when it is connected because there is no power, there is no battery in the keyboard and it borrows the battery from the tablet itself when it is attached. And when you detach the keyboard and use it in a tablet mode, it shows that it will give you around 13 to 14 hours of usage. So anyway, I used it on and off like with, with the keyboard and without the keyboard. And I usually got around 10, nine hours of usage time, which is okay. So the battery life is good, but the charging time is huge if you use the 10 watt charging adapter that is provided in the box. But since it's a USB type C device, you can use any charger Maybe your smartphone also has a USB Type-C charger. I used the charger of my smartphone which is 18 watt charger and it charged the Chromebook fully in around four and a half hours. And I also used the 30 watt charger of my Samsung Chromebook Plus and that charger was able to charge this Chromebook in around 2.5 hours which is good because once you charge the device you can easily use it for at least two days if you are using four five hours every day so at the end i just want to say that it cannot be compared with android based tablets definitely you should go for those tablets if you want to run android apps because android apps don't run smoothly and they run in some kind of container and you can turn on and off from the settings area of google chrome browser so my workflow does not require me to use android apps on this device so i completely removed it but you can enable it it is enabled by default and you can install apps and use it although the experience will not be the same but it is there in case you need an android app on your tablet pc which is powered by chrome os i've also written an in-depth review of this device which you will find on the website i'll put the link in the description if you are interested so this is it in this video i'll see you in the next one till then Thanks.